everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a full face coming at you live. Not really live, but you know what I'm trying to say. I'm doing whole face, NYX products. I'm gonna show you how I did this look. So keep watching. What up, gang, gang, gang? It's me, Shekinah, I'm back. Doing another makeup video, but today's video, I'm doing full face using all NYX products. And it's actually a disclaimer. All my products are NYX products, so there's so many things. Because they, they have so many things here from face to eyes to sprays to brushes. They have a whole lot of stuff. And I only have a whole little, I mean, I have a good amount of NYX products, but like there's so much other stuff that I want for my collection that I just don't have right now. But I'm getting there. You know, you gotta build up to you know get what you want and it's not there yet but i my collection is getting there um but yeah most of my stuff today i'm using on my face will be by the brand nyx but some of it will not and i will mention that like what is and what isn't so yeah i already did my brows just gonna move on to my face and my eyes so let's get started so I already primed my face, it was not a NYX product, it's the one thing I did want to get, but I am going to start by going in using their new Total Control Drop Foundation. This is in the color Caramel, it's not in Caramel, um, but yeah, I've already used this product a couple times. I've used it, um, I had it on for a whole day. I think it is a long wear foundation, which I love. I love the amount you get in this um, for the price. It was only $14. Most foundations this good, like you will not find for that amount. Like that's what I love about NYX. Like their products are relatively cheap. Like a drugstore price, but with a good quality. And I love all their products, but let me get in the video and stop talking. Like I said, I'm about to use the caramel shade drops. I'm just gonna go in and swap that. Their foundation like they recommend you using their one of their brushes I did not get the brush because I had I felt it the, um, the bristles and everything and I had I thought this real techniques brush was really similar so I just went ahead and use this brush I might in the future get it because it did feel nice and it would be nice just you know have a different foundation brush but yeah, like I said, this foundation is very lightweight. You can wear it all day, so it's long wear. I feel like the more drops you use, the more coverage you'll get out of it. If you get like four or five drops, you'll get a more full coverage, but I did about like four, I would say, and this is, you know, I think it's a full light coverage, and I like it. It doesn't feel heavy, cakey, any of that. I love it. So next, I'm going to go in and use my NYX HD Concealer in shade Nude Beige. Honestly, I feel like this concealer is a little bit too light for my skin tone. Or well, after using a damp beauty blender and kind of patting that into my skin, I feel like it works out. But buying another one, I would go a shade darker with my concealer color. But I am going to apply just a little bit of the concealer as a base on my eyelids. Before I start my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and contour my face, which I was about to skip that step. 
So yeah, I'm gonna go back in with the HD concealer and apply that in my under eyes. Down the nose. In my chin area. So I'm taking my damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend that in. After highlighting those areas, I'm gonna go in and use a powder contour. So I'm just gonna go back and sculpt my cheekbones with a dark powder color. So another thing I don't have by NYX that I really do want is their setting powder. I heard it's really good, it works good, um, I just do not have it so I'm going to need to go in and take my own setting powder and just apply that to the areas I need to set. So like I said, I already, already set my eyes, you know what, yeah, I already set my eyes and now I'm about to start. I'm going in using my NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. I love it. I love, love, love it with all these colors. Just, it was perfect. I love it. Did I mention I loved it? <laughs> so I'm going to go in with this orangey kind of right here. I really wish this was a mirror, because I need to like, look into it. That's not a mirror. It sucks. Just taking it all over. I'm using it basically as a transition color. I'm just gonna go in and dab with the bright color. I went in with this like more peachy orangey color right here and apply that all over the eye sorry my camera turned off um but yeah the palette doesn't have any like browns or anything and I don't have another one of their palettes so sadly I'm about to go over and just use a different brown from a different palette and just put that right here in the corner of my eye well I guess the outside of my eye you know what I mean. Now I'm going back to my next palette and applying the brightest of the brightest yellows on the palette. And I'm applying that right onto my eyelid. You know what? I'm actually gonna take some of that concealer to make the yellow pop more and apply that to my eye. Now I'm going back in and taking that yellow to the part where I did a little cut crease to and then apply that yellow so it can be more popping. So I want a little bit more orange in my eyes, so I'm going to go back and put more of that in my crease.
Um, another thing that I want from NYX I do not have is some of their brushes. I think we already mentioned that, but yeah, I felt them and they feel pretty good, nice and firm. Uh, but now I'm about to take my MAC brush and just wipe. I'm not sure. I'm gonna wipe off all the excess setting powder. I know it's been like ages. Sometimes I, sometimes I forget my setting powder is even on my face, which is kind of sad. But. Another NYX product I need to invest in is their bronzer because I heard they're really good. I just did not have one. So I'm just gonna go in and bronze up my face. Those areas I put that powder. those areas I put that darker powder color. Now I'm going in with some eyeliner. I'm going for a winged look. Huzzah for eyeliner. And for me getting it, you know, kind of similar on both sides. I'm about to go back with that concealer and touch up my eyes where I have a little fallout. So I'm now about to apply some mascara. Oh. Of course I'll get mascara on the part and just conceal my face up. But you know what? Just add more concealer, why not? It as new. So I'm not applying any lashes today because one, I need to go buy some more lashes and two, I think my eyelashes look popping without them so I'm not going to put on any lashes. So I have one of their eyeliner crayon pencil things um, but I'm actually not going to use it since I already went ahead and took mascara on my bottom lashes so I'm not gonna apply any of that eyeliner but I think this eyeliner is great I use it all the time um, just want, don't want eye looking too black so I'm not gonna use any of this but I love it I'm about to go in and use their highlighter it's the NYX chromatic duo illuminating powder so I like really like this. It acts as like a blush and a highlight. Um, it's a shade Synthetica. Synth Synthetica, I guess that's how you pronounce it. I really hope that's how you pronounce it. So it don't be sounding crazy, but um, yeah, this is new to me. Um, I actually saw a picture on Instagram with this girl. She's kind of like more of a darker complexion than I am. And it just looked so gold and pigmented on her skin and I just had to get it. But like I said, she has more pigment in her skin, like she's darker skin than I am. And I mean, it looks golden, but it also looks kind of more peachy on my complexion. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And when I use this highlight, I do not go in and like take blush behind it because I, like, like I said, it acts as like a highlighter and a blush. So I'm not going to use blush and go and need this highlight because I'll just be too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with color chestnut. Now I'm about to apply the NYX. I don't know why I bought this. Um, <laughs> Just because it's a lip plumper and I don't need a lip plumper, but I have the NYX lip. It's called NYX Pump It Up Lip Plumper in shade in shade Kim. So that's it for lips, and I'm about to take the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray and apply it all over to my face. And that's it for my look. Hope you guys like it. So I honestly truly love all of my NYX products. And like I said, there's so many other products I would like to get. Um, I heard their bronzer is amazing. Um, highlighters, amazing. Um, their contour kits, a 
setting powder, all that kind of stuff. Amazing in my collection. I have other NYX products. I just need some on my face because they wouldn't look dry with um, my look. I have like eyeliners, eye, like single eyeshadows, pigments of theirs, but like of course I couldn't use that all in one look. So these are some of the products I have, but there's other face things that I would like that would help out my face. And they're a great drugstore product and their quality works amazing. So I truly, truly, truly recommend their products. That's it for my video. I hope you guys liked it, enjoyed it, um, thought it was useful. If you have any questions, ask below in my comment section. Um, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys later.